Hi, this is June from Planet June and today I'm going to show you how to make a magic ring. The magic ring is an essential technique for crocheting in the round if you want to avoid the hole you get from working into a starting chain. I'm going to demonstrate the magic ring using single crochet as it's most often used for amigurumi, but you can also use it for other projects by substituting a taller chain for the chain one at the beginning. To start making a magic ring, lay the yarn over the fingers of your right hand and wrap it loosely around the first two fingers, holding it in place with your thumb. Now insert your hook into the ring behind your fingers and draw up a loop of the working yarn. Carefully remove your fingers from the loop and pick up the yarn as you normally do for crocheting, making sure that the loop doesn't come undone where you are holding it with your thumb. Now hold the ring together and chain one. Now we can begin to crochet the stitches of round one, working into the ring. The important thing to remember is that we work over both the ring and the starting yarn tail at once to make each stitch. So, to begin round one, I'm going to insert my hook into the ring, so it goes underneath the ring and the starting yarn tail. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Then from outside the ring, yarn over and draw through to complete the first single crochet stitch. Now we can work the rest of the stitches of round one into the ring as well, again working over the ring and the yarn tail with each stitch. I'm going to make six single crochet stitches in total. I'm working over both the ring and the tail with each stitch. Now I have six single crochet stitches. The ring is ready to be closed. So you take the starting tail, hold on to the last stitch you just made loosely, and then firmly pull the starting tail to close the ring. Now my tip here is that it's actually quite difficult to pull that ring completely closed at this stage and if you do that it also makes it more difficult to work the first stitch of round two. So I leave a small hole like this for now and then I continue with round two. You do have to remember that the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so ignore that little bump there and work straight into the first stitch of round one to begin round two. I'm just going to make two stitches into each stitch around. Now I've completed round two and we still have that hole in the middle which has opened up again. So now I can close it properly. Just grasp your work and take the yarn tail and now you can pull it really tight. If you pull it closed a little like this, it looks pretty good but it will open up again. So you have to really yank very hard. Depending on the yarn you use, you can normally actually hear that noise when you pull it tight. And that noise means it's not ever going to come undone again. So now you can see we have a beautiful start with no hole at all in the middle. And that's the beauty of the magic ring.